image to ASCII using Python with Pillow. We will create some ASCII card using only one Pill library. The process is quite easy. First we will need to read our image. Next we will read all pixel RGB values and get the average one. It will give us so called average or gray value. Then the average value we will assign to a character representing gray RAM from white to black. And the last thing, we will give character a color from original pixel and save everything to a new image. We will use Python imaging library pill for easy installation process used below. So from pill we will need image, image draw and image font. Let's define character RAM for grayscale. I'm already commenting it because we will use bigger and this is bigger, the standard, we will use this one. Because we will change all pixel values to characters, our image can get very big. So we will change a block of pixels to a character. Let's assume that character width is 18 pixels and height is also 18 pixels. So now we need to open our original image. Let's assign img value to image.open and in brackets put the image name. We have the image, now we need its size. In this code it will be constant, so we will use capital width and height equal to img.size. Ok, now we can resize it to change pixel values to characters. img equal to img.resize in brackets we need to put new size. The size will be original size divided by character size. So width divided by char width and height divided by char height. Also we need to put a filter how we are resizing. We will use nearest type image dot nearest. Now we need to get the new size of our image with comma height equal to img dot size and load it if you want to access pixel values. img equal to img dot load. Ok so now we can create a new image. Let's type ascii img equal to image dot new. We will use RGB color mode. The size will be as original image and color for background will be black. Default color is black so really you don't need to type it but I will leave it like this if you will want to change it later. Next we need to define which font we will use for our characters. It can be any font from your window font. I will use the Britannic and the size of 20. So we will draw characters on our new empty black image. Let's assign a new value d to image draw dot draw and in brackets put our new image. Here comes the fun part. We need to go through all pixels in our original image. Calculate average gray value for every pixel. Depending on that value choose gray ramp representing character and print it on our new image with assigned RGB color. Ok, it's not so difficult as it sounds. First we will use two for loops to go through all pixels for i in range of height and for j in range of width. Second we need rgb value of a pixel a comma g comma b equal to img and in square brackets we put coordinates i and j. Next we need the average value to get gray color. We just add a with g with b and then divide it by 3 and make sure it will be an integer. The last step is to print our character on our new image d dot text in brackets we type characters coordinates j times char width and i times char height. Our character we will create a function get char with input of gray value font equal to our fnt and fill equal to a comma g comma b in brackets. Our function will be get char with input value and we will return one character from our characters representing grayscale ramp. In square brackets we type value times length of chars divided by 256 and everything should be an integer. 256 is the number of how many colors we can have in RGB color scheme from 0 to 255. Basically what we are saying here is that no matter how many characters we will use in our grayscale RAM, we will find average pixel value representing character. And finally we need to save our new image ascii.mg.save and in brackets we put new image name. Let's see the result. To tune a little bit you can play with character size and font size. Hope you like it. If you have any question leave it in the comment section. You will find the code in the description. If you liked this video please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more python videos.